Hey, this is Chris. Hey, this is Costello. Hello, hey. Mr. Costello. No, oh, hello, hello. Let's talk in silly voices for the rest yeah. of the day. <laughs> Talking in the, the fake English voices, okay? I got to apologize right off the get-go because I today, I'm sorry, I'm on the little shitty computer microphone, which is, you know, it may come, may, I mean, but for you, it's good news because you've got the big microphone. You can even sound even better than you already do. Oh, this is Costello. No, I'm talking right. low to my big microphone, so I'll have my you know have a, new, a new mic on order. It'll be here for next week's show. Just sorry for the tinny tinny ass sound. Oh, right. as well you should be, but it's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> hey, make me feel worse than I already do. Okay. Well, you know what? You know, I mean, sizes and everything. This is true, but I'm getting. I'm, I'm thinking of getting a new board, um, which I have lots of lots of. But it's made. It's made for what we do. What the hell are we going to do? We have new microphones, a new mixing board. Mm -hmm. Holy Maybe crap. And, and producers. And, yeah, we um, got them. And we, call, we, we call them the Frenchies. Okay. Yeah, we do. We, I don't know why, but just seem to be the, the French fries. Well, you know, based on all that's going on this week, they're, you know, mm -hmm. we, have, we have to question everybody's heritage and background. So, Oh, yes. Uh, but, you know, might as well just get right to it because it's just like the, the stupidest this one you think can't get any stupider or nothing can happen to each week to make it even worse. <laughs> oh, well, are you talking about the, um, the, the stage? Mr. Thing? President, we so appreciate. Sorry, that, that, that thing. Yeah. Cause it, the vice president Harris was speaking in Atlanta, my hometown. And, uh, mm -hmm. she was speaking at a, uh, I think, I think a, a, a black college sorority thing, but other people were there like 10,000 people there. So it was, it was fun. Um, it was lively. Everybody was fired up. Of course, Trump hated that because it was a big crowd. And they were having a good time where he rambles for two hours. And his last speech back in Pennsylvania, everyone was getting up and walking out. They're going like, you know, bored, heard it before. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Love myself. Love to hear myself talk. But he does. He was, it, was, it a, uh, was, it a, was it a thing he was at where it was like for uh, uh, black reporters or something? Is that what it was about? I think, yeah. Right? Uh, uh, NABJ. Uh, which I guess oh, that's because broadcasters of black journalists. Okay, so yeah, well, the yeah. whole room was full of African American journalists and, and spectators. Pretty much. And yeah. I don't, I don't know why they brought him on there, but man, it made for great entertainment. I'm glad they did. Okay, so I'm just, let me set the scene because set the uh, scene. I, set the scene. Set the scene. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, he's walking on now. Okay, now most yeah. people get most people get applause. Mr. President, we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. No, of I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think <laughs> it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals. Let's get right down to the nitty gritty, shall we? Former President Barack Obama yep. saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not yep. true. Yep. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. <laughs> You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. Ooh, so my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? They don't. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked the question so in, in such a horrible manner, oh. first question. Yeah. You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. Tony and got his feelings hurt. Yeah. I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Uh, including uh, <laughs> employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, Boo. which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've uh, done so much. And, you know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. And I saved them and I gave them long term financing and nobody else was doing it. I think it's he talking a about? very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. 
it turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well, uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I would love I think you it's can a answer very the question nasty on your rhetoric question. and why I, you I have answered Black the question. Trust you with yes. I have years. been the best president get it, get it. for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better, That's than, my answer. better than President Johnson That's my who signed answer. the Voting Rights Act. And for you to start off a question and answer period, especially when you're 35 minutes late because you couldn't get your equipment to work, in such a hostile manner, I think it's a, a disgrace. I let really me, do. Let I me just ask a follow-up, sir, and then we'll move on to other questions. <laughs> he, he he got his, his little wang spank, didn't he? Uh, she just went right for was I'm, I'm great. She did. I, I was. I mean, and of course, that's that's bullshit about. Oh, Vice President Harris is going to be there. You know, that would have been set up. You'd have known about that. His people would have known about that. So, I mean, I, I I'm glad he did. I don't know why he walked into that because he walked into a place that uh, they hate his guts. Yeah, because really. you know, he's, he's all the things he said he's done. He hasn't done. He's a racist. Mm -hmm. He's a bigot. Everyone in the audience knows that. So they went right after him, which is great. But then, then he did. Then he didn't even stop there. The point he went on about, of course, Vice President Harris not really being black. She just turned black a, a few years ago. Mm. Apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great the way she went at him, though. I mean, it, yeah. you know, he, he walks. If you watch the video, it, it starts a few seconds before uh, we had the audio start there, uh, and he's like walking on. He's like going, "There is no applause. <laughs> there is yeah. nothing." That's, that's that's awesome. I mean, she is with uh, she. She's great. She is with ABC, and uh, she had an opportunity to finally just get him. And I, and I give her credit. She went for it. If the opponent would have, would have said nasty things too, she'd have gone after the other person as well. But I mean, he's only one, I and mean, she she laid it all out there. I mean, that man, that was that was awesome. But then yeah. I mean, what's the point about Vice President Harris? So like, well, she's she pushes she's some India India heritage. All of a sudden, a few years ago, she decided oh, I'm black now. I'm black. You know, I, I think you said last week you thought she was Asian. I don't know where that came from, but her dad is from Jamaica. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Black. That's the point. Your mom's from India. Okay. There you go. Yeah, Asian India. It's just that's what we call it. What them. Asian? Well, Asian is Jamaican. He's black. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but her mom's from her mom is like you said from India. India. So that's, that's that's well, that's not Asian, that's just India. So she's Indian. So well, they call them Asian Indians, at least in England we do. So well, you guys are you guys are screwed up in England. <laughs> <laughs> She's not. Well, oh, it's fake news. I'm sorry, man. It must be on. ABC. You are fake news. You, you damn, yeah. Brett, to make you uh. listen to the accent you're doing. It's like I mean, even even the black comedians are having fun. They come with a thing called hashtag when I turn black. You know, so it's like <laughs> everyone's gonna go back, go back now. Like I remember the year and hey, where are the white women at? Like, there, 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 there sorry, no sorry. white woman at that conference. He was at. So he was looking around the crowd, going. I mean, there's not one white redneck here that I'm used to seeing at my stupid ass rally. So funny, funny, funny. But yeah, the black means are going to when I turn hashtag when I turn black. It'd be like me asking you, Costa, like hashtag when you turn British. Do you remember when you turned British? <laughs> I turned British when I came to America. <laughs> wow. Not at birth then, see? Deceitful, deceitful. I could be English as well, you see. I, you know, or Australian for that matter. So it's like it's like question everybody like a, what like everyone like when when did they turn so whatever it's just it it's nuts and oh, then he's got the running mate JD Vance whose wife is from India and mm -hmm. they have a couple of interracial kids together they have a couple of kids together so and he's defending he's going he has a right to ask that because but she spread lies I mean either she's from India sometimes and sometimes she's she's black depending on who she's talking to she she plays it to her advantage that's what that idiot said I'm just going. You don't play to your advantage. What you are, you're half black, you're half Indian. You don't have playing to just. You can talk to an India crowd. You can talk to a, a, a black crowd, or you can talk to an overall crowd. And, and you're you're a black Indian. So what? He's going. He's playing for the crowd who she's talking to at the moment. Well, <laughs> I, I'm, the guy's deranged. That's you know that's just the bottom line. And we hear the original <laughs> canceled radio guys. Um, we just like to say that I guess it's kind of obvious who we like and who we don't like now. Uh, mm -hmm. and the politician politics thing is just so overwhelming. 
uh, unfortunately, because uh, I really like to talk about other things, you know. But she's we over, have, she's we have over to get three, that first. Yeah, we had to. She's over three hundred ten million dollars raised so far. You got yeah. money, like there'll be a lot of ads and stuff. I mean, the, to me, it's hers to win. And if something, unless some, unless something dumb happens with her between now and November, and if it doesn't, and she keeps riding this wave of goodwill and, and excitement that's going on. Mm-hmm. And it's lasting. Gonna, it's I can't lasting see how she's too. gonna lose. I can't see how she's gonna lose. But you know, if he keeps doing his thing, he's he's keep alienating more people. He's not gaining any new people. He'll have his stupid white redneck base. They're not going anywhere. But he's not getting anybody new. If they're not getting anybody new, can't win. So huh. interesting. It's all well, voters turn out too. Uh, you see a mega person in, in the voting booth. Which one do I push? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at other things that might be happening in the world at the moment, like the Olympics. And um, this is rather unfortunate because, you know, they were supposed to um, uh, have certain events in the river, in the River Seine, I think, right? Am I right? Well, they, they, they wound up doing it. Well, yeah, they did. And now a uh, Slovakian athlete. Uh, Tamara Pochoka collapsed after completing a swim at the Olympic Games. She suffered Ch choking, choking, choking on what? Was she choking on the water? Choking on the water. Well, yeah, prop well, the bacteria in the water. That's the problem. Yeah. It's a very yeah. high bacteria rate, especially when it rains. There, there are melted Mars bars just floating all over the place. He's going, melted Mars bars. We, we know what that reference is too, Costello. It's like in this country, it was like floating baby roofs in the pools. The last thing you ever want to oh, see. Okay. <laughs> well, I just updated it to Mars bars. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. When you have baby roofs in the pool, I mean, that pool's empty in five seconds, man. That's all it takes. Dookie, dookie in the pool. He's dumping the baby roofs. Watch how fast people get out. It's fine. <laughs> you know, the one the one the one the there, and they swim in that river. I mean, I wasn't done it, but they did, so. Well, it's the same thing that happened during the boat race in, in London, uh, the Oxford and Cambridge race. Remember I told you this last week, they they couldn't finish the race because <laughs> all the, all the uh, rowers were like puking over the side and falling back into the river. What were they drinking in the water or something? Why would they do that just sitting in a boat on the river? Was there just toxic right? fumes coming up or what? I, I don't think they intentionally drink the water, but somehow that's – that's what happened. They got you know, water in their mouth or up their nose, I guess. I I don't know, but that's I, I should I should look that up on YouTube. I you need to look that up because they're in a boat, they're rowing, and when you do that, you don't get wet. I mean, you you don't water's not coming up into your face. You're not swallowing the water. So what? So what well, the hell did they do? Is the opposition team spiked the water? They just dipped some water bottles in the river, tapped it off, and gave it to them. I guess right. I well, I think both teams got sick. Is what happened. So, oh. oh, you know, but that wasn't the in the Olympics. That was something way a ways back. But uh, the Olympics, well, kind of the crowd, like they got they got bad water. Mm -hmm. and we get extreme heat. Uh, mm -hmm. I go to Vegas, and we got the heat there. Here in Colorado, we got the fires. I got one down the street called the Quarry Fire. Um, uh -huh. I got some great video of it, man. So I got these uh, these planes coming in, right? And then uh -huh. we got a lake right there. It's called Chats Lake. The planes are coming down, and they're water planes. So he comes in low. Lands in the water, scoops a bunch of water, and they take back off, bank to the left, and go dump it, and come back around, and do it over and over and over. It was really fascinating, cool to watch. Man, helicopters are doing it, but those planes. I'll just have to shoot you the video you put up on our Facebook page or something. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's bad that we got a fire close to where we live, but it's, right. it's kind of cool to watch how they do it because they can't get on the ground out there too well because it's really tough terrain. So they're right. dumping it, they're hitting it with water and fire retardant over and over and over. So I think of the uh, DC 10s. Yeah, DC 10. They've done a good job of keeping it where it is, kind of, sort of, because if it moves a little bit, what's right over the hill from them is this giant Lockheed Martin complex where they build oh. satellites, spy satellites, weather satellites, you know, satellites mm -hmm. we're not supposed to know about satellites. So the government, they, they don't want to lose that, you know, so they, they're they watching that and they go over the Lockheed Martin and, of course, you got a lot of homes, which would be my home. Mm -hmm. Don't want to see it turn to rubble, okay? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Kind of like it. Got to make sure the insurance is up to date. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes, indeed. I, I was thinking that the other day. They're talking about a hurricane that may be coming through. It's building as we speak. I'm going, uh-oh, I better check my insurance. 
Probably does. I, I saw that. And so it's not going to affect you, I don't think. It's, they're talking about the lower panhandle of Florida down there. So. No, if it's that, that far down, you might, you might get a little storm out of it or something at the outer outer rings. I don't know how low, how low you it's can only hope there. because that way you just kind of like wipe out and cleanse Columbia. Maybe they need a chance to start all over again, do, do it better. Yeah. <laughs> wipe out this place. Yeah. Great idea. And, uh, you, and, you, and you're moving soon, aren't you? Yes. I guess. Yes. I'm um, hopefully uh, just got a few things to sort out and then I'm going to put the house on the market and um, see what happens. See what happens. I'm going to clean the house first. <laughs> if, you, if you can't sell it, there's some good arsonists up here in Colorado. All our fires are done by arson. I'll send them down your way. Okay. Oh, would you please? Yeah, they haven't caught them yet. So they're like, uh, obviously they're pretty good. So. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Does, does uh, South Carolina have bushfires like that? I don't know. It's very oh, green. Oh, yeah. No, because it's too humid. They don't spread like that. So that your, your stuff isn't dry. All the timber, all the ground cover up there in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Dry, dry, dry. So when one starts, it just goes, you know. So yeah, so. yeah. Like, like yeah. it did in um, uh, what was it, Reducio, the place I can remember. Anyway, oh, New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Toast. Well, summer home. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same radio the station there, and then they burned down too. They haven't signed it back on. And why would they? Here's your insurance check. We're done with this signal again. <laughs> yeah, we're done. There's nobody here anyway. Yeah, they all left. So who are we talking to? Ourselves. Kind of like our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. So yes. We, we, yes. we finally get to, we got, we can finally talk about this here because we have always mentioned these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've had cancer. I had cancer, but here we yes. are. Okay. Yes. Now there, there are like 17 different forms of cancer that are coming up in the new generation that the, the millennials, the Generation Zs, are all getting cancer younger. And, and you know, one of the main reasons they're getting cancer, you see, usually cancer is, you know, people over 50, but they're getting them in their, like, upper 20s, 30s, lower 40s. Yeah. Yep. Why is this group of new, these, these young folks getting cancer? Do you know the number one reason why, Costello? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, well, I wouldn't just blame McDonald's, but fast food or um, uh, processed well, kind of food. The reason, the reason are is because... They're freaking fat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Obesity is the number one reason they're getting cancer at such a young age. They're freaking fat. You oh, know? Really? You know, people give us shit about making fun of fat. Oh, you're body shaming. No, I'm not body shaming. I mean, if you want to be fat like that, I don't care. It's up to you. But if you want to die young. You uh, know what? There have been so, yes. so many women uh, on TV these days who, who look like Lizzo. Yeah, you know, when now, now when there's a group of women, they have to be ethnically diverse, and I guess body shape diverse. And I've noticed this since Lizzo came on mm. the scene. Now these women, they, they must be going. This is great. We're getting work as models. Who? And where's, and where's, Lizzo? Know? where's Lizzo now? <laughs> we canceled her. Remember? Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, all these people, I haven't seen Lizzo in a while, but other people like Kelly Clarkson and whatever lost a lot of weight because of the weight loss drugs are out there, like Wegovy and Ozempic and stuff, and. I don't have. I don't know. I think those are great. I don't have a problem with them. Maybe if that's what it's going to take to get the pounds off, use yeah. that. You know what? I need to because people are getting cancer in their twenties and thirties because you're freaking fat. Put that here. Take this. I've lost twenty here. pounds. See your phone here. Put your damn phone down. Get up off your ass. Go outside. Move and walk. Have some fresh air. Do something. Mm -hmm. You have to get at least at least seventy five to ninety minutes a week of aerobic type moving exercise, and then. The other thing is you gotta you gotta eat right and eat the right amount and get some sleep. Follow yep. those things. You'll lose weight. You'll be healthy. You might live past forty. You know. So hey, <laughs> fat. Costello, I get to say fat, fat asses. Okay. Fat, 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 fatty, fat, fat. fat. Now we can make. Now we can talk about make fun of fat people. And we're doing it for a good reason. We've been saying it for ever since day one. This podcast came on. Making for them. Oh, you guys suck. You body shame people. Nope. Oh, no, we're saying? equal opportunity offenders. We yeah. are. And we are. You know, if you walk around and you weigh 300 pounds and wear tight yoga pants, think of the people like us who have to walk behind you, okay? It's freaking <laughs> gross. <laughs> have, you have pity for us, please. <laughs> enough to make me join the priesthood, okay, man? I don't oh, want to see yeah. that stuff. I mean, how can you think of sex and you look at that going, yeah, first thing, my thought, first thought is like, where is it? Well, like I said, just, just you know, just stand up underneath it. What? Get a wet and roller in the in the in the uh, roller in the talc. 
Roller no, what? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. That sounds Moving like another, another English joke fall flat. I don't know. Like it it did very, very convincingly, too. And so nice said, you want to get some fat jokes in? You know, so go ahead. Now's your chance to do it. Okay. We're doing it for a medical health and scientific <laughs> reason. Okay? Yeah. It's today's fat people's therapy. <laughs> I don't, I, want to see, I, I, I don't want to see another fat chick in tight yoga pants ever again. Ever, ever, ever. Get on some Gobi, get on Mozific, shed some of that freaking fat off and get out and start moving and not only look and feel better, but live longer. I mean, don't you want to well, live or not? People, I, think, so I think every woman, just just about every woman who works in the hospital that I have to go to yeah, um, is fat. Just about every one. I, I would say every one, especially the ones in... Um, like uh, registration or the offices, they're all enormous. Yeah, well, they sit they sit on their butt all day, and and and, and yeah. so if you got a job like that, when you are off work, you need to get up and move. You know, because mm -hmm. if you don't, if you sit both ways, home and work, you're going to be what? You're going to get fat. If you get fat, you know what? You're going to die. Okay, prematurely. Prematurely, yep. Yeah, because you are going to die eventually anyway. So. Just, Not to be confused with Costello's premature ejaculation. That's another thing. But this is premature, you know. From, from... <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> premature, mature, adolescent, just any anything. I'll just take it. Just just let it go. <laughs> just 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 really. So you know, there's not. Um, I was flipping around TV, and I was thinking, you know, there there aren't any great movies out right now. Or am I am I right? Am I wrong? I know it's summer, I but I thought last night. I think it's the number two movie on Netflix. It's Which called, is uh, crap. Yeah, I got Russell Crowe's in it, and oh, one of the Hemsworth brothers is in it. Okay, not not Chris Chris Hemsworth, the uh, Liam Hemsworth. I think it's one of the, the younger one who used yeah. to be married to your buddy Miley. My buddy, my buddy. Yes. Oh. He you got he's, he's got a poster, folks. He's got a poster of Miley Cyrus up on a ceiling. So he lays in bed, and looks at it. Well, there, there comes the premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> either either that or or, or um, ED erectile dysfunction. Is it one of the two things are going to happen? Depending. I thought, I thought I thought Miley cured you of that, and that's why you've never had an issue. <laughs> that's Everything. right. She did. She did. Yes. 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 It was it was either that or go into surgery, and they said, well. Why don't you look at these pictures for a while? Oh, look at Miley. I was said, I was said, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But yeah, it's called like um, uh, Bad Land, No Man Land, something like that. But it is, it's decent. It's about these guys and, they, and, and Russell Crowe's back in Vegas flying a drone. He's kind of like the lookout for him, shoots a few things against the bad guys. It, their, their job is to rescue someone who's been taken hostage by the bad guys. You know, so it's actually it's not bad, pretty decent. I liked it, kept my attention the whole time. So, yeah, so I can't give you the name, but just check on Netflix, the number two movie you see Russell Crowe's uh, uh, new fat head. So, sorry, Russell, you need to lose some weight too. Um, you know, but he's good, he's always good. So, it's a good movie, you'll like it. Well, I tell you what, um, hey, where are the white women at? That's really what I want to know. <laughs> there, there's, there's only one in that movie. No, there's none in that movie. And there were none of the Trump uh, thing either. So we're still searching for white women. So, yeah. Well, well, I don't know where they're at. They're walking to the airport wearing not, big fat, wearing stress and yoga pants, weighing 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Gosh, yeah. You think of that. If you think of that, you have to go to bed and look up at mine so you'll feel better. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, if but you, if you can find good movies, I mean, have you have you have you been watching the Olympics and you've been watching? Oh yeah, stuff? I have actually, and it's odd because I wouldn't normally watch these. Hey, where are the white women at? Well, there's and the gym team. Except for Simone, did you watch Simone last night? Oh yeah, she's great. She's a stinking Simone powerhouse, and, man. She's just amazing. When she's she's on that mat flat. And when she mm -hmm. does her, just a bounce, she gets 12 feet in the air, man, just from her running position. Yeah. 12 feet in the air. You know what I, I wanted to see, and it hasn't been on TV that I uh, hear anyway, uh, was the ru women's rugby. I thought that uh, they were featuring a woman last night because her and her brother are both Olympians. Mm -hmm. I, forget, I forget what he's, what sport he's in, but she's, she's on the women's rugby team. Right. She looks like she could kick everybody's ass in this in this show. Well, easy. <laughs> she's she's built. She's an ex. She's an ex army person. 
Right. She's, the she's a tattooed. Bigger. She's a brick shit house. And they showed her playing it after. I'm going, I said, this woman could, this woman could hurt me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, do the old clothes. Oh, you like that. I like that. Okay. You wanted to hurt you. I, I, I just, I, I think it's really neat. The women's um, uh, sports are really, really coming along at a rapid yep. rate, like, you know, soccer. Uh, basketball, man. Basketball's kicking butt. Oh, well, basketball's amazing. Yeah. I watch this women's rugby. They beat the crap out of each other. That's a, just a tough sport to begin with, anyway. Oh, you yeah. No pads, you're tackling, you're beating each other. Us. It's rough. It's rough. I tell but, you, you know, what, that woman yeah. you're talking about, she, I mean, there was a good interview with her. She says, Look, I'm built like this. What else am I going to do? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the, that woman, uh, the one, the rugby, the blonde. Oh, you saw that. Yeah, that's, she's, yeah. she's, she's yeah. stout. But, but she's not fat. Hey, but who is the biggest star of these Olympics? Well, I think it's got to be Simone, isn't it? I think it's Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. Well, is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> he's great. He's, I give him credit, man. He's it's for a guy who's a total stoner. He's 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 accepted by everybody now. He used to be, here's a guy from Compton, right? And Dion Warwick had to bring him in and spank him going, Did you quit using calling people bitches in your records? You know, you, you grow up and you have kids, you want, you want them calling your mom a bitch and stuff. And he thought about that and he changed his lyrics ever since then. And now mm -hmm. he's accepted, hangs out with Martha Stewart. He's at yeah, the Olympics. He, he ran. He swam with Michael Phelps. He's done basketball. He tried gymnastics. He's out there. He's he's doing everything. He even did fencing. He's he he's coaching. Um, he was coaching his son's football team in Vegas. Yeah. in Vegas. He's uh he's 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 been at all the events. He's he's tried all the separate events. He's mm -hmm. been a big cheerleader for the U.S. of A. And that fencing thing was funny. You know, I, I just saw Snoop doing fencing. He scored a point. Of course, they let him do it. But he's just like he gave it a shot. He's he's. He's the star of the Olympics. Oh, okay. I think there might be somebody at the door. Oh, I thought that is that your corgi? That's my corgi. And you still have your corgi. And you still have your corgi. I still have my corgi. I told, uh, I told my wife about your dog and what you think of doing. And she she was heartbroken. She said, You she said, you will yes, you will kill that dog if you give your dog away. No, I don't think yes. so. Yes. Don't, don't keep the dog and raise it to a puppy. And have it for seven years and go, eh, I'm gonna give it someone else. I can't take care of it anymore. Just get a better, get a better vacuum cleaner, suck up that dog here, Costello. You keep that dog. I, I that has happened. Allison sent me one. So is she good for Allison? Is that Allison good for you? She's she's on her way to uh Espana right now, and then go, taking a boat to Rome, going on a cruise. But so. she took but she she was part of my petition before she left. Keep the corgi, okay. Save the corgi. No, she said if you want to, if you want to rehome it, that's fine. She it's didn't. Say interesting. That. You know, don't make that up. You're no, being Trump. Trump. She didn't say that. You Trump ass. She didn't say that. Benji, Benji here. It doesn't matter who it is. If somebody comes in the house, like the uh, cable guys came in yesterday, and he's all over them. I don't do the same thing. Well, so I mean, they, you know, they see a stranger, they go running up to him like it's their long lost master they haven't seen in 10 years, you know. There you go. See, but, but a couple of my dogs are big and it scares the crap out of people when they do that. They don't realize they're running up to be friendly. They see these big giant dogs running towards them going, They're going to kill me. All I want to do is jump on them and lick them to death, you know, like, Oh, yeah. I love well, you, whoever you are. Big ass dog, you've got dogs, they're all yeah, big. Yeah. Well, even the small one's quite big. Well, you know what comes with big ass dogs, right. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been cleaning some up today. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's great. You see it? my backyard. It's like it's like a, it's like a hog back. It's like a mountain that goes straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah, it's really funny. Like one of the big dogs goes up there and it took a shit, and it just tumbles down the mountain right back to right back to almost against our house. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets big ass, big, big piles of shit. <laughs> it, it does, we, and we just watch it and they go here, here, here it comes tumbling down. You know, so. Yeah. I'm not going to go out there and catch it. Wait till it stops and just go out there and pick it up. And it just rolls down the hill. Just going, you got it. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm that and the peeing. I mean, I put I put pads down, but invariably he'll miss them. So that's kind of annoying. They're not very healthy either. I mean, it's, it's not as bad as cats, you know. It's all part of us owning animals, Castello. Mm. We own animals. So mm. I got a nice yard he can do that in. Anyway, I'm working on it. We'll see. We'll see. Well, if check out that Russell Crowe movie. It's good back on, on Netflix. Also, there's another Russell Crowe did another movie that's on uh, Hulu. So he's got two out. So check check them both out. They're both in the in the top five of each uh, individual streaming device. So okay, I will. 
I will. I haven't watched. I haven't watched anything in ages. I haven't done anything in ages. Well, there's a new show. Your new, new, new show is coming up soon. American Idol. You you watch that, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that's okay. Well, the mystery's over. Who two second Katy Perry's oh, playing? Oh yeah, right. Who is it? Carrie Underwood. Who? Carrie Underwood. Oh, I, yeah, he said it was going to be one of the um, one of the winners, one of the contestants. Well, well she she was a contestant. She won many years ago. Oh, all right, cool. That's yeah, what. Be... That's how she became famous, Castell. She won like season three, four, something like that. And she was one. Of, she was one of the ones in the early days. That the Idol Zone was drawing like fifty million viewers. It just boom went to the top. So yeah, she's taking Katy Perry's place. She's yeah. the first one. I first one, I guess, who was a winner. I would come back and be a judge. So, hey, why not? Oh no, that works out well. I'm kind of bored of uh, Katy Perry anyway. Really, I thought she was funny on there. Mm, she, uh, I thought I was getting a little old of her. Well, I think that she wanted to leave the focus on her on her new her new CD out. Have you heard it? It's a her new single. It's, it's a woman's world. Have you seen that? Oh, oh yeah, it's called. Um, hey, where are the white women at? That's, that's it. Yep. That's <laughs> And they're all in her video, okay? She's walking around like she's like, Katie's like 42 now. She's like, and she barely got anything on, which is okay by me. But the, yeah, it, that's it, good. That's that a good part. Yeah, it's called It's a Woman's World. So, and and it's, it just says, and we're lucky to be living in it. Now, yeah, we have a. a you you and I, you, you and I are Katie's bitches, okay? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, we can Camilla's bitches. Oh. We're <laughs> Well, I like her now. Come on, we got a bad pull. We want her hey, to win. Maybe, maybe we should change the name of the show. Maybe that'll make all the difference. Camilla's bitches. Camilla's bitches. What well, do they do have? Uh, a couple of uh, some some actors have come out. Uh, Jeff Bridges lead the way. It's, he's got a thing. It's another thing on, on the internet and social media. It's called uh, White Men for for Camilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Hmm. And it's just a bunch of white actors who are on it, of course, who are for Vice President Harris for Camel. So they go, oh, well, white good. men for Camel. Well, all, all, you, all they really need, I just, they're just waiting for um, young, what's her name? Um, oh, Lord, I've forgotten her name now. Uh, oh, Tate the football guy. The biggest, the biggest entertainer in the world right now. The what? Biggest the entertainer. Uh, would you be talking about Taylor Swift? I would be. And why I can't okay. name, I don't know. But if she turns her fans, her eligible fans, tells them what to do. She may she not have to because uh, the Swifties are already already saying that they, they're they just saying everyone banned behind Vice President Harris. Even even yeah. for even for Taylor got the endorsement, they're all excited about it. They think she's going to do it. I know she will too. But yeah, they're out there banning already. Big wave of Swifties, Swifties for Harris, you know. That's great. Anyway, That's I think great. so. Yeah, I mean, it gets, gets everybody involved. And it does seem to me that there's just a whole new um, a kind of a refreshing breeze blowing through the country. And um, I, want to, I want to get a, a, a red hat and put Kamala, Kamala made it better or something. <laughs> well, I mean, she's got all the money raised and everyone's feeling pretty good about it. It's like that. There's a new excitement, a new energy. Mm -hmm. So we got like 90 days until Election Day, August, September, October, three more months. If the feeling stays that way, as like I said earlier, don't know how she can lose. Don't lose. Well, uh, well, well, I mean. Um, so they got this club, White Men for Camel, okay? okay. There's another club with the cricket sound effects ready, okay? Black That's Men for Trump. <laughs> well, I hear crickets. I hear crickets. Yeah, even the crickets don't want to play. Black Women for Trump. Sure, it's quiet out there. Well, well, you know what? I met this woman who said, "Yeah, she said, she said I'm from um, uh, Jews for Trump," and I said, "You realize that his dad was a Nazi, don't you?" <laughs> she looked at me and was like, "What?" what? I go, "Yeah, he, he used to send them lots of money." You know, Jews but, for yeah. Trump. Oh gosh. Oh, well, I wouldn't thought that, but, but it, yeah, maybe because of the New York ties. I don't know. But that's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, crickets for Trump. That'll work. Yeah, I'll find yeah. someone and put it in in, on, in the edit. So well, we'll have one we're gonna, next week. We're going to have, and we're going to. Sandeep is going to be on one thing. He's a, he's our India correspondent. He's oh, going to be on next week because he actually knows uh, J D Vance's wife. Okay, who's from India. So oh, okay, cool. They went, to, they went to the same college together, so he knows her. So we'll get the inside scoop of like. And did she make a mistake? How she feels still being married to JD and all this stuff's coming out and especially with the Trump. 
uh, she's some Indian. No, now, now she turned black. No, she turned Indian again. You know, or what do you think of JD's wife? You know, you think JD's wife Melania hangs out together? You think JD's <laughs> wife Melania hang out together? Can you picture that scene? Ew. That would be your skin. Your skin is kind of uh, dark. Hey. <laughs> darky, you're a darky, aren't you? Yeah. I guess because we both we both have kids. I gotta yeah. say, I'm reading something, I feel sorry for uh, Baron Trump, 18. He just graduated high school, and the people at the school have said, you know, he, he can be kind of like uh, have a good sense of humor, quick wit, likes to have fun, but they never he never they never saw him at football games. He never went to school dances, never went to any social events, and they just they just feel bad. He's he, because of his situation. I mean, he's uh, she kept him as an isolated and alone, kind of like uh, mommy oversaw him and just guarded him like crazy. Or, or known known that family, she could be banging him. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> a little, little ancestral thing, you know, Melania and, and Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's so daddy doing it to somebody else, so I figured it was good. Well, you got to grab him. You got to grab him right there by the pussy. You got to grab him. You know, like a one-eyed cat peeking through a seafood store. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, you know, I was reading that. I said I feel bad for that kid because they, they, he, he wanted to, he wanted to participate. He wanted to have friends. He wanted to be because he's in high school. In high school, yeah. you know, either it's a traumatic time for some, or it was a fun time for me. I had a great time. Uh, but he, but he, never, he, he would never, he couldn't participate in anything. They, they, the Melania kept him away from that stuff. Dad, of course, is never home. He didn't know shit about his son anyway. So, yeah. no, no, um, no, 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 surprise. What, what's his name again? And, we did, uh, and the mom is who? What? 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor old Baron. Well, Baron, I got, oh, yeah. some, I got something for Baron to use on this one. There you go. <laughs> Give your mummy one of those. See what happens. <laughs> she kept him in line, man. Melania kept him in line. Either she's spanking him for, you know, uh, being a parent, or she's spanking him for another, another kinky way. I don't know. The same. Between that and the Secret Service guy, she's very busy, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So. It's yeah. interesting, though, that we haven't, you don't see her anymore. Excuse me, anymore. I, I mean, he's very, very smart in her part. Well, she can go out there and fake. Fake support, fake like she supports him after all this. He just found he was just found guilty for paying off a porn star. She must be a part of that, and he going to smile like everything's okay. It's all right. And, uh, <laughs> it's not. No, no, it isn't. Well, I wonder, perhaps when it's over, she'll just divorce him. If he's, of course, if he's got any money left. Well, then she could. Well, I would say I don't, I don't know what I don't know what her prenup is. And you know, it's got to be one, and, and it's probably been updated when he was running for president as well, too. So you know, there's one. Who knows what's in there? I mean, what's she get? The uh, he's not a minor anymore. He turned eighteen, so child support that's out the window. He didn't have to do that. So uh, she has her own life. So she's going. Why would I do it? I, I don't have to sleep in, in the bedroom with him. I don't have to be with him, and I, I don't have to see him. I just live here with and have a great time taking care of my son. You know, pretty soon she's going to be an empty nester. He's going to go to college somewhere. Then what is she going to do? Good point. Her whole purpose was taking time off to raise her son. Now he's going to go to college this fall. And Melania's going to be going, oh, God. I, got so I, college, where, I wonder where he could go to college where he's not going to probably get beaten up or. <laughs> I mean, the guy, you know, his, his dad's really done a number on him because now, you know, whether like him or not, nobody likes his dad, or at least, you know, when it'd be the kid I'd be. Well, if you're a white redneck, you like his dad. But it's, uh... oh, great. You might as well go to like the Appalachian State College then. <laughs> Appalachian State, yeah, in North Carolina. There you go. Yep, it's just what I was thinking. Your mascot's a hillbilly with a jug of moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the one in Morgantown then? West Virginia Mountaineers. Oh, that was just just West Virginia University. They were Mountaineers. They did their their mascot dressed like Davy Crockett. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Really. The difference between the hillbilly with the moonshine and the Davy Crockett. So I like that. I like that. That's West great. Virginia Mountaineers up in Morgan. What else is that part of say outside the college? They, they got nothing. There's a prison up there, and then there's a university, and then yeah, that's it. And then there's woodland, and it's a shithole. Yeah. So, yeah. and then you hit, then you hit a bigger shithole, Pittsburgh. That's right. Cross the line, you're Pennsylvania. You go Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh. Yeah. They did a lot of work to turn Pittsburgh around. So hold it. They got IT jobs there now. They they made the downtown different people moving down there. The new millennials are moving in, and so yeah. it's not such a blue collar. 
it's slowly evolving into you know that's kind of cool going to use the word yuppie you know but it's just like it's, it's kind of like that so it's I it people it's I young it fat people they're gonna be I dead soon. people <laughs> they're gonna have cancer soon and they'll be dying soon so Bye. Yeah, yeah, no, no biggie. So you know, just go to Walmart. And yeah, he chose this life. So look, I'm sitting on my phone, on my phone. I'm not going outside. I'm going to play with my phone. Stare at my phone some more. Mm -hmm. Exercise. What's that? Walk. What's that? Eat. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Computer. I think that's that all day. I do. Uh, computer and eat. Computer that's and it. eat. Phone. 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 Uh, hmm. I go put on some yoga pants. I'm ready to go. Oh my god! That's what gets me when they have those thongs on, and you can either see them through the pants, or they, the pants are low enough that the top of their thongs are quite. Are busy. you thinking? Uh, you thinking when, camel toe? No, I, w I wasn't. I was thinking the other side actually, but yeah, that too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're thinking the baby roof side, okay? Yeah, I was like, oh man, geez, this is this is too much. It's just, I just don't get it. I I don't get it. But they well, should make we'll see what happens between now and next week because every time every time we always go, well, we don't have to talk about it anymore because nothing else is going to happen. Well, something does, and here comes the here comes the weekend coming up. So who knows what the hell is going to happen? So all I know is next week we're going to have Sandeep on. He's going to talk about JD Vance's wife. They mm -hmm. went to college together. They know each other, so it should be interesting to see what Sandeep has to say. It will be. Indeed, it will be. Yeah. yeah. And Sandeep did, did promise me that between now and next week, he's going to stay Indian. He will not turn black. So. <laughs> I said, if you do, you're going to have to change your name from Sandeep to something else. Okay? So gotcha. it's, kind of like, it's kind of like a dead giveaway there. What's your name? Uh, Sandeep. Hmm. Hmm. White guy. Oh, no. White guy. Wrong. wrong. It's, well, we'll see what happens in the next guy. week. Uh, as, as we should by then have um, producers and stuff. I don't know if they'll make any difference to us particularly, but uh, hopefully more people will be joining the merry thongs of the originally cancelled radio guys, which sure. is uh, myself and uh, Costello and Chris Bailey, otherwise known as Chris and Costello. Right. It sounds better that way. And, um, well, you the know. original cancelled used to be black guys. <laughs> so... There you go. Used, to be, used to be black guys, and yes, um, did. I was born a poor black child. Yes, they were. Oh, I squeal at the pig. Yeah, thank you very much. Right well, down to you. You're going up those tight yoga pants. Get up there. Get in there. Oh, that Trump's hugging it all. Get your britches down. Yes, sir. Get your britches down. Get your britches in the way. Dude. 